Hi guys, this is Larissa with Be You Beautiful One and I'm going to set up my classic vertical happy planner and I have accepted the challenge from the paper and pen girl to use all of my stickers featuring as the foundation sticker book, the rainbow sticker book from the happy planner as well as I'm going to use the mega book sticker book in addition to the dates and holiday sticker book from the happy planner and i'm going to include jd and brooklyn's big hair dolls as part of my setup so let's go ahead and get started again i am going to be using as my foundation inspiration the rainbow sticker book from the happy planner this challenge is called use all of your stickers and we are going to use this book as our inspiration as our foundational point and so each week will be featuring a different color from the rainbow book and this week we are going to look at the red stickers from this book and i can include other stickers into this setup as well and the idea is to use all of your stickers and so for this vertical layout the pre-deco is all about halloween i will not be using any halloween decorations for this layout this week and so i will cover uh, especially the bottom portion where it's featuring like the black cats and the witches hat definitely covering that as well as the top portion with the orange dates I will be covering those and as well as the candy corn above the calendar area in the left top hand portion and I probably will just cover all of that all together because I don't need that little calendar summary in the top and it would just make life a lot easier i know that i'm already planning for september um, 30th to october the 6th so i will just go ahead and cover that i'm going to spare you the pain of watching me cover up everything with white out and here it is this is the uh, corrective planner pages that i have i decided to use black and white washi tape as my foundation for my uh, red sticker layout plan. Originally, I was going to use a uh, red base sticker, uh, washi sticker tape, but I just felt like that was just too much red for me. So I decided to go with black and white because to me, that would make the red pop out even more for the orange lines that divided the horizontal rows. I use a uh, white and black washi tape from the happy planner is super thin and just fit perfectly on top of those orange lines and i did go ahead and cover the october september in the left hand corner as well as that candy corn <laughs> and now i'm about to go ahead and cover up or give myself some dates up here at the top by using this date and holiday sticker book from the memory keeping um happy planner collection and i decided to go with this one because um it was the most cleanest option available and incorporates some of the red decoration within the letters so i like that and i just use um, my eyes to gauge the layout of the dates I thought it was very clean so i like this particular date covers and i decided not to use any month stickers because it's september october and it's going from one month to another that means i have to use double stickers and i didn't want to do that i love this red polka dot bot sticker and so i decided to just go ahead and cover up that um, small calendar in the top left hand corner because it was primarily orange 
and black and I didn't want any orange and black um, to be on my layout. Now I'm about to go ahead and use the rainbow sticker book to go ahead and start adding some stickers to my pages. And I've actually have used the red stickers out of this book already. So I'm really am limited in my options of what I can use. But I love the be productive sticker because you know, Monday is the jumpstart of the week. So you got to be productive. So that top portion there, I'm going to go ahead and put like a little list of what I want to be productive about. And then in the center section there, I put high five sticker because listen, midday, you need to give yourself a high five. And I thought it was very cute just to put that right in the middle of the white box because it's surrounded by the black and white washi tape. And it almost looks like a sticker within itself. And then I put a note to self section down there at the bottom because um, I know that I want to make notes of what I need to continue to work on. Um, for that list in my be productive section. And I'm going to add the decorative bots, but first coffee, you know, I love me some coffee. I love flavored creamer. And so any day of the week, coffee is, is an excellent option. <laughs> um, and then I put, um, this sticker by JD in Brooklyn. It is her featured doll for her shop. And um, the doll is named Big Hair um, because she always has big hair. And it looks like she's reading um, her tablet or a book. And I have some reading I need to catch up on. So Tuesday, I plan to do that. And that is a goal of mine. So I put a goal sticker there. And then in the middle box, I'm going to use a to-do sticker and then use some asterisk bullet points to list out some things that I need to take care of on Tuesday. And now looking at Wednesday, I am going to go ahead and put a to do flag. Now, this was really crazy for me because the to do flag on the right hand side is what I really wanted to do in order to break up some of the red um, from the Tuesday sticker. But I just did not like it. Um, so I decided to go ahead and move it back over to the left hand side of the box and then add my heart bullets um, below. And actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the heart bullets to be in line with the white lines from the previous sticker on Tuesday. That way it is breaking up some of the, the red um, being right on top of each other. And again, I've already used a lot of red stickers out of my rainbow book. So now I'm going to switch to my Joanne mega sticker book and try to find some stickers within this um for this spread i was originally going to use a couple of stickers but it had predominantly pink in there so i'll use that for um i think that's next week where we'll be doing pink i love this note love note days um because i really want to start intentionally sending out happy mails to some of my subscribers and pen pals uh, just to to show them that I'm thinking of them. And then for that last horizontal row there, I put life is so good because Wednesday evening I will be going to our midweek services and, you know, life is just so good. God is good. And so I need to um, want to honor God with um, gratitude. Now, for Thursday, I'm going to go ahead and use another JD in Brooklyn um, big hair doll. This is a self care doll. And I really love this doll. And it says, I love me. And because it has the red heart there, I figure, hey, it got red in there. Let's use it. But, you know, by Thursday, I need to make for sure I am working on something to um, edify and encourage myself. And so I'll be doing that. And then again, I want to make for sure that I continue to um, work on that product 
productivity list that I started on Monday if I have not um, checked off everything yet. And so I put that productive to do list um, for Thursday as well. And then that top portion, I decide to put a daily focus spots up there because I have a couple of projects that I am committed to um, working on with a couple of my um, friends and sisters in Christ. And there's some things that I am owing them um, as far as documents are concerned. So I want to make for sure that I get that done this week. Um, and so I'm going to list those in this daily focus box to make for sure I get it done. And I wanted to stand out. So I use some bigger stars in this area. Now let's go to Friday. And I love how that high five looks on Monday. So I decided to do a do all the things for Friday right in the middle there. I love that. And I wanted to make some notes to myself because Friday I'm starting to slow down a little, but not really. But there are some key things that I, I want to make for sure I take care of by Friday and um, that I, you know, feel satisfied with before going into the weekend. And I put today was a good day because, you know, Anything after five is an excellent day. <laughs> You've made it through the week. So today was a good day sticker goes on Friday. And then it is the weekend. And so I decided to use a weekend banner uh, for Saturday and Sunday. I look forward to taking a nap on Saturday because my past two weekends are re really all of my September weekends have been jam packed. And so this Saturday, I plan to do some R&R &R and get me a good nap in. And then I have plans later on that evening. So I decided to put that sticker there. And then on Sunday, I love Sundays. It's always one of my best days of the week to look forward to. And because I attend a church that's all about hugs and love, I decided to go ahead and put that big old heart right in on my Sunday. Um, and I decided to keep one of the boxes open in case I needed to add some additional notes for Sunday. And looking back at Saturday, I found that relax sticker on my rainbow sticker page. And so I decided to add that right in the middle of my Saturday because I plan to get some R&R &R in on Saturday, right? And so overall, I love this spread um, for that left sidebar there. I'm going to leave that empty because I really don't know what I want to put there just yet. But I'm looking at that red um, polka dot box that I red and white polka dot box that I have. And so I think I'm going to add one more sticker to um, the top of that. And I'm going to refer back to my mega book from Joe Ann and see if there's anything in there that I may like. And I found this, I am a happy planner <laughs> because, you know, I never use those stickers and I am a happy planner and planning, decorative planning gives me great joy and keeps me wanting to refer back to my planner because I am a visual person. And so here is my final spread. I really love it. I feel that I have a nice balance of black, white and red. And I'm happy with it. So thank you for joining me. Please like, subscribe, turn on your notification bell. So whenever I post a new video, you'll be the first to be notified. Thank you for joining me. Bye.